Hello everybody and welcome to the next Minecraft video. What I want to show you today is capture the flag in Minecraft. Um, now, good news, the 1.8 update was released today. 1.8 vanilla, the bountiful update. And the next thing is, this works completely fine. You could use this in a minigame, so I'm, I'm gonna show you what it does. So, yeah. Let's start! By the way, please ignore this uh, darkness sensor. It has come to block under it, clearing the weather as soon as it gets dark, so that I don't have to do this manually. Okay, so I just built this random thing here, where the flag is underneath. It's not that beautiful, but um, seriously, I don't care. So, um, if we run over this thing, or actually walk over this thing, we can see there is a tile that I have their flag now. And, good things, I've got a flag on my head. This is quite obvious so that the other people can see that I have their flag. And yes, that's the basic stuff. Now, if I am killed, the flag will be teleported or not teleported, but brought back to the, uh, to the original point. If I take a look, there it is again. Now, this requires a hell and a lot of comment blocks. And I won't take you through each one of them because they're really complicated, even for me. So I'm, I'm gonna tell you the basic way. So probably you can see that there is a wither skull right here that gives every player that is in a radius of one the flag on their head. Now the next thing that happens is that every player that has this score is uh, executed and command that this block where the banner is should be replaced by air, meaning that it's gone. So good. Then I've got a death score. As soon as that guy dies, but only the guy with the flag, the flag is teleported back here, meaning because the command stops. And then for the title command, I give every player a C score when he walks over there, meaning that he, after a certain C score, so players are executed to display a title with their name. It's hilariously complicated and in the end I do clear everybody's C score. Yeah. I know it is really complicated, you probably didn't quite get it. You can take a look through all of those command blocks, but yes, it, it really is complicated. Another thing that makes this whole thing more complicated is the fact that I had some problems with the at e selector, meaning that it should select the player that has the at e mbt tag, meaning that the player at e score a minimum one should get a score a of two. Okay, this command is not used. And you can say uh, this exact command is not used, but technically, I had some problems with the way Minecraft was executing those uh, commands. So I actually had to really use the execute th um, thing for some of them. Which is not that bad since, yeah, I can live with it, but it just makes everything a whole bunch more complicated, just to make you aware of that. What I want to say in the end is that you can download this whole map with everything set up, even the darkness sensor. It's not a part of the contraption, by the way, and yes, you can try it out on your own. You can even change your banners by using the banner generator and use that replace item command. If you want to, I could make a tutorial on that too. Then one more thing, don't paste this in your map yet. It's not completely functional because it only is one. If you do this twice, you will get problems because we don't have a team set up yet. I may work on this so that you can paste it in your own minigame, but not now. That's not possible now. Okay, so yes, what I want to say is Goodbye, I hope you enjoyed this video, it seems very short to me. I really loved making this thing, it took me absolutely ages. I hope you appreciate the work I did, and if you did so, please leave a like, I would really really like this, because it was really a lot of work. So, again, download link is in the description, have fun with it, don't paste it yet, this may cause really a, um, a lot of bugs. And one last thing, the banner is self-made. You can find the replace item comment in the comment box. See ya by the next video! Whee!